going to stay there in Vermont, where the incumbent Democratic governor, Peter Shumlin, has nearly been unseated in a shocking upset. In a process unique to Vermont, projections now show the governor's race will be decided by the state legislature after neither Shumlin nor his Republican challenger, Scott Milne, reached the necessary threshold of 50 percent. In other states, it might go to a runoff. In Vermont, the state legislature um, will decide. It remains solidly Democratic, so Shumlin will likely keep his seat. The election is seen as a possible referendum on health care reform after Governor Shumlin has vowed to make Vermont the first state with a single-payer health care system. The state's embattled health insurance exchange, implemented under Obamacare, has been down since September. For more, we're going to Peter Sterling, executive director of Vermont Leads, an organization that advocates for single-payer health care in Vermont. He's in the nation's—he's in the state's capital, Montpelier. Welcome, Peter Sterling, to Democracy Now! We only have a minute before we go to Colorado. Some other stunning results there. But talk about the significance of what's taken place in Vermont. Well, coming into this year, the governor seemed to have the wind in his back. Vermonters and polling really showed we want to move towards single-payer health care. And this election result does seem to take some of the wind away from Governor Shumlin and his plans, the centerpiece of his uh, administration. So talk about—I mean, there's two things that have gone on here. Vermont could be the first single-payer state. But you, unlike a number of states, have had a complete crisis with the Obamacare exchange, with the Vermont health care exchange. Um, how did that happen? And even if Governor Shumlin has made the point that, you know, it's complicated um, and that's why we need single-payer, that's a very fine distinction. People see that the government can't run health care in Vermont, and will he be able to carry out this mandate if, indeed, the legislature chooses him? I mean, it's a good point. I mean, we're a small state. You're largely going to see the same people who have been leading on the exchange, lead on the movement to single-payer health care and to implementing it. Um, but at the end of the day, the exchange was a problem with the website, which, which was on a very short timeline set up by the Affordable Care Act. We have many, a few years to do Green Mountain Care, so I think the governor can reestablish that confidence in his administration to implement the, the nation's first universal publicly financed health care system. And just the response, we have 20 seconds to what has happened, that uh, this race will be decided, as Peter Shumlin's first um, uh, governorship was decided, by the Vermont legislature. It's certainly shocking to everyone here in the state that it was this close. But I would say that most voters did not go to the polls on a referendum on universal health care. They went there on property taxes and other local issues. So I'm not sure that the, the governor's results was a, a referendum on the popularity of universal health care. Peter Sterling, thanks for being with us. Executive Director of Vermont Leads, the organization that advocates for single-payer health care in Vermont.